welcome to Voodoo Warlock 2023, episode 42. In this episode, I'm going to be discussing the new macro tech, technic Epic Destiny as it applies specifically to my build or how it can be applied if you choose. This is not a quest episode, so there will be no quests. This will be kind of a shorty, but I wanted to have this as a standalone piece to this series. So I have a picture, a window up of the way that I normally have my Epic Destinies configured on the right, on the left, is just the, I'm kind of playing around right now. Uh, I don't have a lot of experience with Macrotechnic. It just came out a couple weeks ago, but I did recently do a Epic Reincarnation and I leveled back up from 20 to 30 and I used the Macrotechnic Epic Destiny. And I think that's going to be a good choice for me regardless while I'm leveling up because I'm not going for the high defense stuff when I'm just leveling up. Okay, I switch to more full tank mode once I get to end game. And so there's some nice DPS options in Macro Technic that I want to bring to light. It also has some defensive properties to it as well. So I think this is especially an interesting option if you are playing my build but are not playing it as a shifter. Okay, and I think this could be easily substituted for the Draconic Incarnation Destiny if you're not a shifter because the only reason I run in Draconic is because I need it for the ability to cast while raging right here. You may now cast spells while raging. This build utilizes the Beast Hide Shifter that does not have the ability to cast while raging in the tree. It's the Wild Hunt Shifter that does, but that's the Wisdom-based Shifter. I wanted the Constitution-based Shifter, which has much more defensive properties to it, because this is a tanky build, so I have to get the ability to cast while raging here from Draconic Incarnation. But if you weren't a shifter, then you could swap that destiny out for you know a variety of others. One other choice might be like Sharati Champion, for example, or Fate Singer. But Macro Technic is also an option. And it could be an end game option for you if you are not a shifter and you don't need the ability to cast while raging. So here we got plus six armor class and plus six PRR. So that's some good defensive stats. Over here you have Sonic Boom, and this is basically like a Sonic version of Energy Burst. So this was pretty cool. I had a lot of fun with this while I was leveling. And so, like I said, I only ran 120 to 30 with it, so I didn't do a lot of experimenting with it. This is not a maximum you know, spell power or DPS kind of a build. So, you know, I can't speak to how good it is, but it certainly was fun to have that extra, like, sonic energy burst. We Here you have, um, move that so you can see a little bit better. The window back up. Uh, plus six reflex saving throws, rank three, you no longer automatically fail reflex saving throws on a natural roll of one. Now, I have uh, no fail saves on a roll of one for all three saves. And right now, where I'm getting the ability to no fail at reflex saves is through the epic feat, epic reflexes. But if you're going with macro technic instead of draconic incarnation, what you'd want to do is you'd want to take this instead of Epic Reflexes, and then since you didn't run in Draconic Incarnation, you wouldn't have this where you don't fail Fortitude saves automatically on a roll of one, so you could just substitute Epic Fortitude for Epic Reflexes. And then you'd still, with the Macro Technic configuration, getting no fail on a roll of one reflex here, and then no fail on a roll of one for Fortitude from the feet. Here you have, um, you can get the Thunder Hammer. There's an electric and a sonic version of this. So of course you'd want the sonic version if you were doing Fey Pact, which is what my build is. But if you're doing this as Celestial Pact, you could go with the, the other electric version of this. I did not play with this while leveling. I just wanted to mention, you know, this could this could be some, you know, fun to play with. You could add some single target DPS to the build as well, which the build does lack. Uh, the Radiant Prison, I didn't play with it, but this could be fun. It says target non uh, boss foe is sealed away for eight seconds in an unbreakable force field with no save. And that's a that's a nice bonus for this build because it doesn't have good DCs. So those no save abilities are highly prized. Over here, you could get some conjuration or evocation DCs. Either one would help the build a little bit on the offensive side. Here, you can get 450 
25% more threat generation. So that's great for the tank. Let's see. You can get some imbue dice. That helps your offenses. Here you could get some additional sonic spell power and universal spell power. Uh, and then here this could add a stunning effect to your epic strike. That's the sonic boom, like the energy, the sonic energy burst. Uh, but the DC, at least on my build, would be so poor uh, at endgame that it's probably not worth taking. And you're pretty steeply invested, you know, by the time you get to tier four. But I just wanted to mention that uh, I probably wouldn't invest that high. You know, if I wasn't shifter and I therefore wasn't doing Dracon draconic incarnation, I probably wouldn't invest up to tier four. I don't think I would have the points. But you can certainly, you know, shave away. You know, I only have 10 points spent in Draconic Incarnation, but you could sh shave some points away from Exalted Angel. So you could get the Conjuration DCs, you know, here instead of from Exalted Angel. So you could shift those points. You know, the Heal Amp, you could be shifted over. You could even steal some points out of Un Unyielding Sentinel if you didn't want the SLA of uh, Resurrection, for example, and you just wanted to scroll. You might be able to take away, like, you know, some of the hit points or fort here or something. There's definitely some some points that you can shave off of this if you wanted to spend a few more points here. So I think Macrotechnic Epic Destiny could be an option, like I said, especially if you were not a shifter. Or, you know, maybe you just don't like the Exalted Angel option. I really like it because it gives me wings. It gives me two healing SLAs. And I'm, you know, I love having the ability to be able to throw... Uh, support heals and this build benefits from having healing pillar and the mass cure moderate sla as well as renewal and so that's especially nice when you're you know trying to do high skull reaper and there's no main healer around but it's always nice to be able to support heal others so i really like exalted angel and i personally wouldn't swap that out but you know your specific needs and wants are going to be different than mine I would love to hear what you have to say about Macrotechnic as it applies to my build. If you've played with it, if you have any other things that you like in the tree that I didn't discuss. All right, I think that's going to do it. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, as always, you can make a comment in the video. Or you can stop by the live stream on my Twitch channel, Voodoo Spice where you can find me live streaming a morning show every weekday, 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. Eastern. And I'm always happy to discuss the build live in real time. We'll see you soon.